Good, good morning. This is uh, early August in uh, southern Oregon, early morning, relatively early, about 8 o'clock. And I've uh, had a, received a request to get a closer look at our hydro system that I showed in a couple of videos about um, how some of the, uh, the intake had gotten blocked and after it was unblocked. This is a shot of the path leading to the base of the waterfall, which let's see if I can focus in on it. You can just barely see right over there. And um, as you can tell, it's pretty low flow right now. You might have been able to hear it just then. Um, but let's wander over if I can safely do so down the path and to sort of the beginning and the heart of the hydro system. Right there is the turbine housing which you can probably hear in the background. Let's concentrate a bit on the turbine first. Well, maybe it's the best. Uh, it's a Harris turbine, uh, four nozzles as you can see, um, basically here. This is the only nozzle that's actually currently working right now, uh, open, because of the low flow. Um, got your electrical connection that passes the wires on underground to the powerhouse. Um, I don't know if we can get a better... There's our amp meter showing how much power we're getting. You've got the fan on top of the turbine to cool the turbine off at higher temp, um, higher production. Right now we don't really need it, but um, if I focus up here, maybe you can see in the corner, there's a whole bunch of crickets. The crickets have uh, liked this housing and they go ahead and um, I like to have the fan here to make sure they don't drop into the turbine itself. Uh, down over here, whoops, sorry about the thumb, uh, you can see the pressure gauge and um, more entrance for the piping. I, we have uh, flexible, somewhat flexible pipes over here so that you could pull out the nozzle and replace the actual tip of the nozzle with a smaller or larger nozzle as necessary for the flow of the creek. And um, you can turn as the flow of the creek gets changes, you can adjust how many nozzles um, are operating and what size uh, actual opening on the nozzle that you can have. Um, right now, as I said, during the summer, you've got the last and smallest nozzle going and gives us the least amount of uh, power production. Now, as I move back, you'll see the outflow of the uh, water that's coming down. Let's see if we can, well, yeah, let's zoom in. So you've got the, underneath the turbine housing, and I dug a little trench. Most people actually just run a pipe back out to the creek, and we thought this might be nice to have a little stream type feature that's uh, grown over with plants and everything so it looks just like a contributory or a tributary to the um, larger creek. We have a the input is a four inch pipe um, to believe that's yeah that's uh, should be the four inch pipe comes down and it actually comes down the slope and where all that gray is, which happens to be ash that I've dumped down uh, from our wood fire, um, 
is where the pipe comes down and swing on over and right over there I can see it I don't know if you can that's the waterfall and it gets very um, heavy during the winter um, much heavier even than the other two videos that I showed so let's uh, proceed on upwards um, yeah, let's go out and there's our lovely dog Tarkington and we'll proceed on up the path uh, which I had to improve uh, when we put in the system and Tarky's finally saying oh goody we get to go uh, here are the steps that I put in after we had actually put in our whole system uh, and you'll see um, how things have been overgrown and I need to do some cleanup. Uh, one other thing you might want to think about while we go up this way, dodge around the berry bush, um, is that we had to haul, or I had to haul, up 80 pound sacks of cement or mortar up this route uh, without the steps, which may have made it actually a little easier, but still hauling up 80 pound bags of sack is not necessarily the most fun thing along here. Let me back up a little bit. Excuse me if it gets a little dizzying. And this is a shot down towards the housing, turbine housing right over there. And we'll head on up, see if we can't take a look. You'll notice we have trees falling down overhead and if Tarka goes on it would be more comfortable. Uh, I really think I need to come in here. I haven't had to come up recently but I periodically come up and clear path plants off of the path and everything. Uh, lovely roadie there. Um, and as you can see it's a really beautiful area <laughs> to walk through. Lovely forest area. Down here is a creek. Let's back up a little. Um, hmm. Not really sure you can get a great shot. One of the pools. Pretty dark right now. And a, I believe it's a crab box that somebody had used earlier to try to use as a water intake. Uh, this creek has been used for water for the house for many years. Uh, we found pipe in there that's uh, quite old, <laughs> uh, well over 25 years, 50 years. You've got trees down across the pathway. This guy has been here all, well, ever since we've been here. Uh, and the path along here, this guy here came down only a couple of years ago. We get high winds in this area and um, things come down. 